So, uh, what's the value of an of initial client? So, how much is a how much is a one IME worth, for example? How much do you charge for a simple IME, if there is such a thing? Fifteen hundred dollars, and that's a fairly standard answer. I mean, so fifteen hundred dollars might be. Fifteen hundred dollars might be anybody else. How much? How many? What other charges do you have for IMEs? Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred dollars for an IME. Other other numbers. Nine hundred plus four fifty. Anyone else? Yes, sir. A thousand dollars plus six hundred dollars an hour for record review. Okay, so the initial the initial fee and the and the fees vary uh, all over the country, and that's one thing about IMEs that makes it more challenging to talk about them. Uh, if you live in, if you practice in New York City, there's a tremendous amount of competition, and the fees are lower, very low. We have somebody from New York City, and she. Okay. Okay. Some people in New Jersey charge 500. Dr. Freifeld's from New Jersey. I don't think he charges 500. No, I try to keep the charges a little more realistic. Uh, Want to stand up? Please? Yeah, my. The cheapest IME I've, I've ever done would be about 750, but we try to charge between 950 and as much as five or six thousand, depending what they are. Uh, there is a tremendous amount of competition in the tri-state area. Uh, I've never, until last year, had any real price resistance. Uh, last year we we did uh, well in 2010. I did 47 thousand dollars worth of business with a company called uh, Premier Prism. Uh, which some of you may be familiar with. And I raised their rate by $10 and they dropped me. Mm -hmm. So I went back and I said, well, if you'll do these for $600, we'll take you back. I said, well, you can keep it. I'm not doing anything for $600. Um, I think we were charging $950 and I went to $960 or something like that. Um, so that's the first time I've seen any price resistance. Up to that point, uh, you know, you kind of make your own. It didn't really make much difference. As long as the product was good, nobody was giving much of a uh, problem about how much they were paying. And while we're talking about the product being good, let me tell you something. If you're just starting out doing IMEs, this is a, uh, this is a bloody battle. This is, this is not an easy field. Uh, recently, uh, I started another business doing, writing screenplays. And I'm working with a professional writer who, uh, has written a number of bestsellers on the New York Times bestseller list. And his attitude to our screenplays was, well, they're only 110 pages long. We'll do five or six of these a year, and we're going to make a fortune. Uh, screenplays are an incredibly competitive field. And it's the same thing with IMEs. Don't think because you're a physician or a chiropractor, you could just go ahead and write an IME, and you're going to have, be successful. It is a competitive, bloody field. I've been doing this since 1975. I, my longevity is probably legendary in this field. I was doing IMEs before they were called IMEs. Uh, and, uh, is this before or after electricity? Yeah, in fact, I didn't know they were called IMEs until I met him in Florida, which was about, what, maybe almost 20 years ago now, I guess, right? I think I had hair then. You did not have hair then. Okay. Uh, he's never had hair. He was born without hair, and he never got any, I don't think. But, <laughs> but uh, uh, so then I found out what I was doing was uh, IMEs. and. Uh, so since that time, I've been very careful to make sure that the terminology is correct. Uh, once you have a customer or a client in tow, uh, the, th the thing that keeps them is to do very good work. Uh, you have to be available. You have to be there. You have to answer their questions and be sure that you do it correctly. A client is worth, as uh, Steve said, initially perhaps anywhere from a thousand to two thousand dollars, but. I have people I've been working with for 20 years, and they may only send me two or three or four cases a year, and I do between 400 and 800 IMEs a year. 
Um, that's down from the 2,500 I used to do because I'm older. And also the cases have become much more complex. Uh, I also run a, a, a surgical practice, so you know you have to have enough time to do that. But um, you know, this, the cases have become more complex, the questions have become more probing, and uh, the answers have to be better. Now, I'm an ear, nose, and throat doctor, and there aren't too many ear, nose, and throat doctors who are, uh, for example, a member of the American Academy of Disability Evaluating Physicians and other things like that, because most of the people doing IMEs are orthopedics and neurology, and, and that because there's just more things in that particular field. But nonetheless, the same, um, the same parameters pertain to any of the IMEs. So